Well, the weather could also impact Mardi Gras, and some say that's a good thing. Tomorrow's Fat Tuesday. Parades have been canceled due to COVID, but crowds were expected in the bars and restaurants on Dolphin Street. And now with the frigid weather, who knows? Gabby Easterwood joins us live now. And Gabby, you were downtown today and yesterday. Crowds really were a concern. The businesses were pleased, but not health officials. And now we're factoring in weather here. Yeah, I was actually downtown yesterday, Devin, for Joe Kane Day, and I spoke with Public Safety Director James Barber, and he said that the concerns were definitely there for coronavirus because of the crowds. But of course, with what Ed and Caroline have been talking about with all of these concerns with the weather and the frigid temperatures, tomorrow is definitely a toss up. Yesterday, crowds were a concern, part of the city's reasoning for shutting down streets in a large portion of the downtown area tomorrow to create room for social distancing. With our bars and restaurants open, we intend to shut down the Dolphin Street corridor and try to make a big open air environment. With these freezing temperatures heading our way, business owners like Matt Golden, owner of Beer Garden, don't expect too many revelers to come out to celebrate. I think we're just going to see smaller crowds. Um, I don't think that we're going to see, and, and yesterday the crowds were substantially smaller. You know, they were dismal compared to what they've been in years past. These colder than normal temps bringing revenue down already. I think the weather really held a lot of people back. We were down a little over 50% from what we normally do uh, just because we rely on so much outdoor seating. With the cold weather tomorrow, uh, my prediction of being down about 20 percent. I believe I'm going to be wrong. I think we're going to be down about 50 to 60 percent tomorrow. It's all twofold though. The revenue is needed, but they know the possibility of furthering the spread or being out in these dangerous temperatures isn't worth it. It's concerning in the way that, you know, I'm concerned for my employees that rely on this season to make what they're looking to make for the entire year. You know, they put a lot of money back from Mardi Gras. No matter what tomorrow brings, these bars and restaurants are staying positive. This is uh, God's funny way of making sure that we don't turn this into a super spreader. And that's okay. Again, we've always got next year. Now, another con possible concern with coronavirus is that because of these temperatures, those revelers who do decide to come downtown will possibly fill up those bars and restaurants. But of course, as we reported multiple times, the city will still have a large portion of Dolphin Street and the downtown district open for those people who do decide to come out so that there can be more room for social distancing. Reporting live in downtown Mobile, I'm Gabby Easterwood, WKRG News 5.